another day working on the Lotus Elise. Like a week ago, I spent about 20 hours with the help of Allie detailing the interior of this thing. Uh, we filmed a little bit of a vlog about it, but to be honest with you, it was just like a lot of labor, cutting up my hands, being frustrated. But what I did film, we'll cut to that and show you that process. It was genuinely like 20 hours. So yeah, but the results were really good. And if you remember what it looked like, it was absolutely horrible. So yeah, we'll cut to that and then we'll be right back and show you what we're doing today. Ow. Dude, hello. You think we could vacuum this and it would be better than me uh, grabbing them by hand, but you know. This is like as hard as I thought it was, but like harder on the hands than I thought it was. I've like peeled skin off my fingers because I'm like, dude, if I was like a tall guy, I would just fucking sell this car. Look how nice it is. Once we actually like finish cleaning the dash and it's coming, it's come a long ways though. So that's cool and stuff and things. This is, this is straight up like 18 hours of work. I'm not even over exaggerating. This, it like the mold behind the carpets, like it's money now. Looks like it's a brand new car. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna get uh, floor mats for in there and stuff. But we took out the took out the deck, took out the climate controls. I'm restoring all of that. Um, I made these custom speaker things. I put some yellow um, JL audio speakers in there, and I custom made uh, these blah pumped, uh, reused actually blah pumped speaker covers, and made this little badge, the silver with the yellow stripe on it just to like tie in the yellow on the Lotus badge. It's funny cause like the Lotus badge isn't even yellow right now. It's so faded and destroyed. That was yellow at one point. <laughs> we fixed the signal light because the signal light didn't work before. Oh, anyways, it works now. <laughs> so we got the seat in. It feels really bad to put this ugly ass seat back in the car. Aside from this and the steering wheel, everything else is very nice. Yeah, and I put this uh, wink mirror in. I mean, not wink mirror, Broadway mirror. Um, so it looks good. It covers up the mirror that was deteriorating. And we'll put in the, well, I won't put the other seat in because I'm gonna bring that seat to the upholstery guy and uh, see if I can get a quote on reupholstering these seats. But yeah, that just, just about does it for the 18 hours of pure agony of cleaning the interior of this thing. But that's like one huge step out of the way other than the body work, which I'm not doing myself. The next time I drop the car off and I get it back, it'll be like epic and all I have to do is wrap it. That would be like the most ideal scenario. I'm just stoked, just, I'm, I'm excited. It, the interior cleaned up way better than I thought. And I'll change out the rear speakers to put the yellow. The yellow speakers, JLs or whatever. I'll probably paint this, even though you won't see it. I just want it to be nice, even though it's underneath. I just want the peace of mind knowing that my car is like good all the all throughout. Well, as you saw in those clips, it was a lot of work, but worth it. I didn't think it would clean up that nice, and you know it did. There's still some like things that are a little bit shitty, but overall, it turned out really good. Um, so today I'm going to be replacing these rear speakers uh, since the seats are already out. I figured I might as well um, These are like the original blah punk speakers that were in there. I've got uh, Some new ones. They're five and a quarter size. They're actually the same as the ones I did in the last few clips I think I filmed that the front speakers which were actually really annoying to get to because there's like a screw that's like right against the window and you have to use like an angle screwdriver or something. I rigged up this thing with uh, like a Phillips head in there and I just reached in and was like, Ch -ch -ch. I just want to keep the progress going on this and video as much as I can. Uh, I guess I will we'll double sided tape this thing on because that's kind of broken. I, rip, I ordered Pan, new panels for here and the other side. I'm gonna do carbon fiber panels there just because those are actually broken and I figured like a matte carbon would look cool in there. But yeah, other than that, I don't know, but <laughs> let's get to it. Th 
These things are so rusty. These little screws, they are destroyed. I'm gonna have to sand these just so they don't look like. You can still see them through the grills. Nobody else will see it, but I will. This speaker I actually think is still good. It's not uh, it's not cracked around here, so I'll probably just clean this up and keep it as a backup piece. Or if somebody wants it, let me know. You can just come and get it. So these are the speakers. It's a JL Audio 525X, a C1 series. Um, those are a pretty good budget speaker, entry level, I guess, when you're getting into decent sounding speakers. They were on sale, and honestly, I love the build quality of the JL, so I figured I would just go with them. They're the same as the front, and they got yellow on them, so it's like, you know, matches Lotus. <laughs> Now I would test these speakers, but last time when I was cleaning the interior, I took out the the deck. I took out like the head unit and the uh, climate control panel because I'm cleaning those up as well. So we'll have to wait to be able to hear the sound quality of these, but I do know they'll sound good because I tested the front one before, the front ones just on their own and they sounded good. So, I mean, I can imagine that with the whole setup, It'll sound nice and I might put like a little mini self-powered like sub box right back here just because this is obviously like gross looking and sub is kind of nice although I'll be listening to the engine sound most of the time. We got the one panel off it turns out that like you got it dude okay so these panels are held on by one allen key and uh that's it and then it just goes in and pulls out but the one that caleb's doing right now somebody drilled it so there was literally no nothing to grab and caleb just like jammed it in there and wiggled it around and got it out i'm just gonna buy new hardware wait we gotta show the head of that thing look at that oh wait like what dude Boom. So simple. <laughs> <laughs> we tried like six different Allen keys and Torx bits, even like a T20. And they were all like just slightly too loose. And this like slightly rusty thing that I found, <laughs> I think it's got like extra girth on it because of the rust, it's working. <sighs> okay, so I guess we decided that we're gonna take the door panel off because Fred has to obviously fix the door or at least assess fixing the door. If it's gonna be too hard, I'll replace it. But like, honestly, I really don't want to. Like, I would prefer to have an original Bordeaux red like door that's just fixed, you know what I mean? Cause then if it, you can't just buy the same color door, we'll have to like, I don't know, figure it out. But it would be sick. All right, so as it turns out, there's one stripped Allen head on there. Caleb got the last one out, so he is taking a crack at this one. <laughs> Whoever worked on this car last just didn't give a singular fuck, and they just said we're stripping all the bolts. Is it spinning at all? Don't talk to me. <laughs> so, like, we got all four of these out. Caleb got the stripped one out. And then, as it turns out, there's an absolutely cursed, like, expanding Phillips screw down here and whoever had worked on the car before stripped it. So we were trying like everything, like flathead screwdriver, like <laughs> trying to pry it out. Eventually I just decided to break it. I just like yeeted it and it broke, which is good. And now we're like, now we've gotten this far. It sounds like it's Velcroed, which is like kind of scary, or that's like something breaking. Oh, that's fine though. Yeah, it's Velcro. Well, that's good. And also the window like doesn't actually go down. So we need to figure out why that is. <laughs> I guess until, I guess next time we'll be either one, bringing it to Fred's or two, figuring out this door situation. It's gonna be like a week, I think, until we bring it to Fred's. I don't know, man, there's so much stuff to do. But Fred's gonna let us park the car in there and like take it apart while we're there. So we'll probably just like resume filming there, I would assume. And Caleb will maybe be there, but he's already like slightly scared of working on this car, right? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs>
or or no. Well, shit. Okay, I guess that's it.